three coplanar points, and bam, there's the uh, radius of the Earth. The, Earth, the, Earth, the, Earth. the way I phrase it is, it is a monument uh, to the curvature of the Earth. It I really totally is. Agree with you. It I really totally is. Agree with you. Level. And bam, bam, there's the, uh, the uh, radius of the Earth. The Earth. Oh, I guarantee if you do this test properly and you sight down them, you'll see a drop. Absolutely. The water level will drop, you yes. think? From horizontal. Right, yeah. That's what Jesse Kozlowski said. Yeah. Yeah. He's right. Everyone go quiet. What happened? What? Through here for you there. Have you... Oh, everything went quiet for a sec. Have you uh, muted, DP. muted DP? Oh, yeah. I've got him blocked and muted and whatever. Okay. Yeah, he just talks shit. So. Well, he was asking that um, over a mile, uh, what would happen to the water level um, from the horizontal? Yeah, so from one end, it will drop eight inches yeah. to the other end. Okay. And then what would happen if what? you were to go over to that other end? And look back. Yeah, then you've then you've got a new horizontal. Yeah, and, and drop eight inches, from <coughs> and it'll drop from that horizontal back again. Yeah, but <coughs> a different yeah. horizontal to the horizontal okay. at it the other end. The same They're not parallel. Yeah, it's yeah. the same it's horizontal, really isn't it? No, they're no, different it's horizontals. Not. Oh. <laughs> different it's one ones. Come horizontal. On, you know this is how globe works. Yeah, Ruhif, unblock me. Uh, yeah, you can unblock DP, please. He's telling you it's one horizontal if, if from one end shit, though, to the other again. right Ruhis, if you come in here to yeah. sort out what we need yeah you got to okay. show that so your three water levels a to b and b to c <laughs> how they're parallel how are you going to demonstrate it what's well with the test okay how are we going to I mean, demonstrate it in the test geometry well i mean no there's nothing it's just put the water in um no i mean they, uh, that's obviously what we're going to be doing this next year is uh explaining the uh the basics of the geometry and how it works and all of that you know the you know them numbers that you gave us you know you said that um when if the test was done correctly then it would be able to measure curvature. That's what you said, right? Yep. Right. Now, um, would done correctly mean the numbers that you gave us would be the numbers that we would find measuring curvature? Depends. Depends. I mean, if, if you're doing a sight line down from one end of the water level to another, you'd have to take refraction into account, so that'd be a bit different. So did, what did you give us them numbers then for? What, what were they? I think they were unrefracted. You're asking for how much drop there would be. Yeah, we were just talking about the water level, weren't we? You know, we weren't actually talking about refraction or anything. We were just talking about the physical um, yeah. water so that's level. That's why I gave you unrefracted numbers. Actual. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so those numbers, are those the numbers that you would expect us to find if we were to, like, as you call it, do the test properly is that what you're imagining would be there yeah, that would be the physical drop but then if you were measuring it optically you'd have to take into account refraction okay well we like we're not doing any optics we're you know we definitely yeah, I, don't yeah, do I, I know optics. you're not because <laughs> you know if you do you'll see curvature ah uh, no no we're we're doing physical uh, measurement um how geometry yeah yeah, but how are you demonstrating that A to B is parallel to B to C? Uh, well, that's I say. I'll, I will. We will sort a, um, a presentation uh, based okay. on, on on these things. So, um, so when you say um, if the test was done properly, that's what you imagine the test being done properly would be. Do you, it, yeah, is you'd, you'd is when you yeah. imagine the test being done properly? Is that is that where your optics come into it? Yeah, I would sight down it, but I would I would need to take some measurements as to the refractive index on the day. Okay, you would like sight I'd, I'd down stick. the water level. You're still sticking yes. with that uh, yeah. water, water how, how level. How are you going sighting. to do it? I just use the water level like you use the water level. Yeah, but it's your assertion that A and B is parallel to B and C. You haven't demonstrated it. The ge yeah, the geometry will prove that. Right? That's, that's, no. Yeah, yeah. We're that's talking the... about real world. Yeah, yeah. 
So, you, so you, right. have to, you have to map, Ge you have to map the real world Geo, into Earth, geometry and then back again. Measurement. If you take Earth. in the incorrect assumptions and yeah. your assumption that a water level is horizontal is an incorrect assumption, if you take that into the geometry, the results are meaningless. The results are meaningless now. Yeah, because you've taken an incorrect assumption into it. What? You've incorrect... incorrectly mapped the real world into the geometry. It... Sorry? You incorrectly mapped the real world into the geometry. But the geometry is geo, earth, metra, measurement. So what? what is that that you're talking about, please? You have a, a real world problem that you've got to solve and yeah. then you're going to like take it into geometry and like draw a diagram or whatever if you translate from the real world into geometry incorrectly your result is just going to be bullshit. what are you saying so translate if you, if you take this real assertion world into geometry if you like, if you take this geometry assertion, is earth measurement so how do sure. you translate <laughs> a measurement you, taken in reality into if geometry you wrong what are you talking about if you take your assertion that water levels give you a horizontal into your geometry and that assertion's wrong your results will you know be bullshit but Dickie, this is what we are doing the test to show that level is horizontal so you're going to demonstrate that A to B is parallel to B to C. Is that what you're going to demonstrate? I'm going to demonstrate within the test that you obviously don't understand yet, and we are going to do a presentation for. Well, so it's you not my fault that can... I don't understand it, Bev. <laughs> it's really not my fault. No? Well, no, well as I say, well, we are, I know we have to obviously make it even more simple, and we will simplify yeah. it much more yeah, for, for you. It, it's like me, Bev. We will do a presentation. Um, to show what the test is and how it will prove that level is horizontal through okay. geometry. Do you want to do that now? Do you want to explain it now? How are you going to show that A to B is parallel to B to C? No, it's obvious that, you know, the, the methods of talking and uh, doing that isn't, obviously isn't the way to uh, discuss these things with you. We've ha we okay. have already then... been over this multiple times with multiple people. And yet I don't have an answer for it. Uh, yeah, we do. We just say level is horizontal. What is it that you yeah, don't understand? Well, how do it's you assert? What are you asserting? You horizontal. Are you asserting that level isn't horizontal? I, I guarantee if you do this test properly and you sight down them, you'll see a drop. Absolutely. The water level will drop, you yes. think? From horizontal. Right, yeah, that's what Jesse Kozlowski said. Yeah, yeah, he's right. What, the hang, water. Hang on, hang on, hang on, Bev. Can I, Ruif? So, if there's a horizontal over a mile, what will happen to the water level from that horizontal? Everyone go quiet. What happened? What? Ruif, are you there? Have you? Oh, everything went quiet for a sec. Have you uh, muted DP? Muted DP. Oh yeah, I've got him blocked and muted and whatever. Okay. Yeah, he just talks shit. So. Well, he was asking that um, over a mile, uh, what would happen to the water level um, from the horizontal? Yeah, so from one end, it will drop eight inches yeah. to the other end. Okay, and then what would happen if you were to go over to that other end? and look back yeah then you then you've got a new horizontal yeah it'll and, drop eight inches from there. and it'll drop from that horizontal back again yeah, it's a different yeah. horizontal to the horizontal okay. at the it other end the same they're not parallel yeah, it's the yeah, same horizontal isn't it no they're no different it's horizontals. not oh. Ruhif, it's different one horizontal. Come on, you know this is how globe works yeah Ruhif, unblock me uh, yeah you can unblock dp please he's telling you it's one horizontal if, if from one end shit, though, to the other again Ruhif, it is one horizontal it is only one horizontal plane that has been established at one end <coughs> yes at one end no as soon as it's you move one horizontal plane Ruhif. as soon as you move you have a different vertical and therefore a different horizontal that's this bullshit is like basic Ruhif. Globe stuff. Ruhif, that basic is absolute globe. horse shit that's how a globe works Ruhif. well 
<coughs> I'm upside. I'm upside down to you guys now. Yes, Brian. <laughs> You're upside down. <laughs> you certainly fucking are, mate. Yeah. So our our horizontals might actually be parallel. Your head anyway, you is are. upside down, Ruhif. Ruhif. Yes. Merry he lives Christmas. in Australia. He thinks he's upside yes, thank down. You, Brian. <laughs> are we accepting then that a water level establishes a level parallel line? Uh, I would say the water levels do not establish a horizontal, no. It's only over short distances that you get exceptionally close to horizontal that it <coughs> sort of doesn't matter for all practical purposes. What does it establish, though? An equal sea level. And on a globe, that sea level is a curve. But you said level is horizontal, Ruhef. Yeah, and I told you many, many times there are two contexts in which I use the word level. <laughs> yeah. One is with an auto level, which establishes a horizontal plane. The other is uh, in the context of sea level. And on a globe, sea level is curved. So for the, the 40th time, Bev, stop equivocating. So, hold on. You just said that if we establish a, a level line with horizontal line with a water level, then... It's not level, perfect, no. It would drop away from it, yeah? Yeah, because it's not a perfect horizontal. Water levels do not establish a perfect horizontal. Auto levels do. Or as, as accurate as they are. Well, okay, let's, let's just... But if we've established it with a water level, then <laughs> that water level would have to be following the curvature of the Earth, would it not? Yeah, exactly. And if you have a water level that's six feet long, there's going to be fuck all curvature, right? So it's going to be close enough to horizontal to be to be fine. But so if you have a mile-long water level, that, it's going to drop eight inches. All we need to do is set a, a level with an water level and see if the water level drops from that level, yeah? Exactly, yes. If we prove that, you become a flat earther, yeah? Oh, I, I would demand refraction measurements be taken in the middle just to make sure we're not getting extreme refraction. But, yeah, that's that would show... Um, yeah, that would show a flat earth. Good man, you're on side. Yes. We we need millionaires on our side. <laughs> so to to you, Ruhif, you know the the physical aspect of a water level. Yeah. Um, does that not count for anything, or is that is that what the curved mean? one, the one that drops away? What do you mean? Say it again. The physical aspect of a water level, right? Establishing yeah. a... What do you call it? Establishes a, equal elevation. even equal altitude. Level, yeah. Yep. Yeah. A even altitude, right? Yes. As in not elevation, like oh, altitude. Neither's fine. Neither's yeah. fine. So you realise that it being at an altitude, an even altitude, means it... It's not a tangent, can't be a tangent, even if you imagine the surface as a sphere. If it's yeah, at it an altitude, tangent, it's right? away from... Um, do you know is there anything about concentric circles? Yeah, like the, the tangents would be parallel. Mm -mm. Would you call that parallel? Because it gets bigger, the oh, do arc... I, do I think concentric circles the are arc parallel? The of... And <laughs> the circle isn't the same, is it? It's a bigger radius? Like, what are you trying to say? Well, like, like, could you call them parallel to a curve in a circle with differing... It's like concentric circles, I mean... Can, can I call hmm. concentric circles parallel? Yeah, I would say, I'm, like, I'm if you were yes. to have a... If you were parallel. to have a water level that had that sort of curvature in it, then that curvature rate would differ the further you went away from the surface, wouldn't it? I mean, it wouldn't have the same really curvature rate, would it? If you held up <coughs> a water level extremely high off the surface, would it be more than eight inches per mile squared or different to eight inches per mile squared? I don't know. I'm asking, yeah. I'm asking you, would you imagine it to be... More or less. Yeah, it'd be different. It would it be different? Uh, it'd be less, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
you've got to get pretty so you're, into that, right? You're, well, I don't know. I mean, it's it, you're talking. If you're talking spherical geometry, then you're talking about the uh, two-dimensional surface <coughs> of a sphere. <coughs> uh, if you add yeah, any yeah. any altitude to that, you have to make a new um, two-dimensional surface of the sphere, don't you? I mean, that, that's the way it works. Yeah, given, because given it, not cause it's a two-dimensional surface. Yeah, yeah. I know, I'm just saying, giving you some of the problems within your geometry like because we don't i don't have that problem when i when i do a measurement right i don't have that calculation problem that you have yeah but it's negligible so why bother well <coughs> you do realize that geometry like pretty basic geometry is the study of line and form right sure. and you can tell the difference between a straight line and a curved line and you would normally use geometry to do that very particular task, wouldn't you? Sure. Yeah. Where so, are you going, Bev? Well, straight line or curved. I mean, you can definitely tell, can't you, with within measurements, whether it's a straight line or a curve. Right, you'll give us that, won't you? That we can tell the difference between a straight line and a curve. Yeah. How, how about make a point, Bev? Rather well, than just, just I'm just you know. confirming with you. I mean, this is one of the things we're going to be doing a presentation about our test. Yeah. How yeah. are you going to show that A to B is parallel to B to C? No, I just we're going to say is straight. Can you tell the difference between a straight line and a curve? And would you use geometry to do that? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. You're asking like ridiculous gotcha questions that you're going to somehow. No, 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 you know, no, no. Twist. These are just confirmation questions. Like they're not gotchas yeah, okay. or anything. Yeah. We're, just, we're just having a chat. I'm trying. I'm trying to sort yeah. out what I need to put within this test, and you know, within the presentation, that would convince you that you know that this is a a true fact, a statement, a fact that yeah. level is and horizontal. You know what you need to do. You need to demonstrate that AB is parallel to BC. The water is level, right? I mean, that's the the level oh, is and horizontal. You say that... Water is level, and I and then and then I say mm -hmm. water is sea level. Sea level, but I don't no, say no, no. water is horizontal. Sea level is or mean sea level is the datum that we establish um, to find a elevation from, right, or on the yes. land, and also altitude from, right. Because if it's yep. if you're at an altitude, the altitude goes to mean sea level, doesn't it? Yep. So that's your datum, the mean sea level. And then right. every water bit of altitude or air curve. elevation is a vertical distance from that, right? Yes. Right. So the water level can be at fifty-one feet um, elevation, can't it? In reference yes. to the sea level. Yeah, and if you're on a curve and the other end of the water level is a, a decent distance away, it will also be 51 feet. Level, level level is horizontal, right? Yeah, well, again, are you going to equivocate on me or not? I'm not what do you mean equivocate? Because as soon as I say level is horizontal, you're going to say, oh, you know, therefore... You, you already right. say but level not, is horizontal. You, I've told you a dozen times there are two contexts to the word level. Well, one of them, right, has um, salt water in it, and the other one yep. has fresh water. That's your difference, isn't it? The salt. No, one of them. One of them is curved. Sea level is curved, and auto level is not curved. What about a water level? A water level is curved because it follows the same. Right. So, curve. where's the <laughs> clarification that a water level curves, but a a normal level? Um, you know when they level. you know when they made levels and they thought, wow, this is getting a bit tedious. Us carrying this water around and digging trenches and doing all of that sort of stuff. Perhaps we should make a tool for doing this that makes it a bit easier. So maybe see if we can do it optically, then we can carry it around. That's a brilliant idea. Someone says, well, we just need to make sure it's horizontal, right? Well, I mean, you level. Like, don't make it level, because the water level that it's meant to be replacing is obviously drops at eight inches away from the horizontal. So let's make this new tool 
do something to replace the that the old tool didn't. Do you reckon they did that, Ruhiv? Or do you reckon I, they I just tried to get it. a water level replacement that did exactly the same thing? It doesn't do exactly the same it thing. Is a water level's more accurate over longer distances. Except Ruhiv. it's not. It does not give you a horizontal. And if you did your test, you would see that. Right, so you are still predicting a over a mile, an eight inch drop from the start position of the water level. Yes, an unrefracted physical drop, yes. Okay. And that's from both ends. Yeah, if you go to the other okay. end, you've got a different. No, no, yeah, that's, I mean, that, 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 that is as much as I need to prove geometrically right that the water level from your side is um ridiculous but i mean yeah uh, i think um i think you've got like those numbers that you gave us when you say a uh, drop constant drop would does that still apply for the sad guitar the Sagittarius as in the hump in the middle. Yeah. When you, if you sight down from one end of the water level to the yeah, other, yeah. We'd look, you are I told you down. that we're not sighting it. We're doing using okay. it as then a physical tool. Yeah, with a physical. How are you demonstrating that A B is parallel I was to B C? Just, I was just asking it. it when you say it drops eight inches over the mile. Obviously, it's not a slope, is it? I mean, the water no, no, can't. It's equal gravity. Sl yeah. Right. Okay. So there is the hump. The Sagitta, in your mind, is still there, right? Yeah, but it's just a rotated view. Yeah, but obviously the eight inch <coughs> over the mile would be classed as a cord. And the um, Sagitta would still be there, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then you just rotate it. And so those, hump, like those numbers that you gave it. us, right, could be measured either as the drop or the hump because i think we had somebody come round. yeah um, you can it was two inches on it it was two inches unrefracted and i got to work out what it was refracted and refracted bits don't don't worry about us we're talking about the actual yeah. physical <laughs> if you're not going to optically cite it then how are you going to demonstrate that physically measure physically measure how are you going to physically measure it using a water <laughs> level don't, yeah, which like... your assertion, your assertion is that they give you horizontal. No, no, we're just going to use geometry to prove and show yeah, you that yeah. a water level In establishes your geometry, a you're going horizontal to take into plane that, of reference. I mean... You're going to take that assertion into your geometry, aren't you? Yes, well, and we're yes, going to be looking for the numbers that you have gave us, Ruhif. Yeah, and how yeah. are you going to measure them? With, you're going to measure them with, with your assertion, which is wrong. With a water level. Yeah, which does not give you horizontal. Well, the, the test will show, right? Well, how is it going to show it? That's what I keep asking you, and you keep dodging it. Well, <laughs> you'll see. I'll, okay. I'll go out. I'll, I'll I'll so you haven't, you haven't actually done it yet, then. You've got no idea how to do it. That's good. Ooh, pardon? You can either show me now, or you haven't done it. You said, you said I, you'll see. Uh, yeah, because I... <laughs> yeah, so you can't explain it now, because you cannot. No, we, I'm going to sort a presentation out just for you, Ruby. Okay. I mean, I'll, I have, I've, I've tried to explain this to people, but uh, you've not quite got it yet, obviously. Oh, I think I saw one of your explanations, and it was to to cut out the middle water level and put two uh, like half length water levels in. Was that it? Um, the one with the yeah, 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 like you know. Problem. You know, you've got the same problem. Like it's... Yeah, right. Mm. I, I think we, I explained this once. Um, right, let's draw a, a, a line. Let's have two, two ends of a water level. Pull your whiteboard out, babe. Come on. No, no, I've got, I'm um, doing a drawing on it to explain, right. to explain the test. You, you, it'd be, it'd blow your mind. I can't go right. on it yet. Um, so you've got a line and let's go it goes from a to b it's a water level and at each end of that the what you've got the water and it's leveled itself out right and then you put a bit in the middle it's sea leveled itself out sure yep <laughs> what 
Just clarifying the context for the word level, Bev. With a water level, it just yes. it establishes a even Equal altitude, yeah? Elevation altitude, yes, yes. Yeah. Which on a globe is curved. No, not an elevation altitude, just altitude. Just an yeah, even altitude, because it's, it's away from... on a globe, from, that's curved, right? It's away from the surface. Right, so in the middle, then we're going to put another bit in. So well, let's call B in the middle. And then so you've got A at one in. side, B in the middle, and C at the other end. So now when you draw a line from A, B, C, and in fact, there's three points there, isn't there? A, B, C, three. There is. Right. So when you, when you B, join, you mean like when you join middle, right? all of the lines up of the wa where the water levels um, meet, mm -hmm. You know, like where the water levels in the in the vials or what you know, just the water level really on the tube. Yeah. When you draw straight lines between all of those points, three points, you make a triangle, dear, or do you make a straight line? You make a bent line because B will be higher than C. I said just draw lines. You draw Yeah, the, it's not a straight line between A, do B you and C. Draw bent lines. You've only got three <laughs> points, been, right? So you've well, you've only got three points. So if you draw lines between them, that that's three straight lines, right? If you draw a line, I'd, I'd say a they're all B. on the same straight line. Yeah, do your test and find out, eh? Personally, but you you would you would have a not a triangle. You would have what? Would you always use uh, curved lines when you were drawing the lines? That that line between A, B, and C will be a curve. Yes. Oh, so you have three points, and if you join all three points with e each other, you would make yeah, a curved a line, line rather than a, a triangle. I can make a triangle if you want, sure. You could, right. I, reality, I just need to know what, you, like, what you're imagining. Yeah, it won't be a straight line between A, B, and C. But if you draw... <laughs> see, you've only got three points. If you draw lines yeah, between a, B, them, they C. are straight lines, right? Because you've, yeah. you've only well, you done three triangle. points. If you draw a line between A, B, B, C, and A, C, yes, yeah. you'll get a triangle. Yeah, but brilliant. It will that, not I mean, be that... a straight line so between A, C. So your understanding of geometry is good, but your initial response was to say that curved, wasn't it? Yeah, it will be a curve in reality, yeah. If you tap in you know, infinite um, infinite locations into that water level, yeah, it'll be curved. With With the point in the middle being higher? than the other two yeah. ends that are... But you've also got to drop from one end to the other. Yeah, you just rotate your view. If you're okay. standing at A, that's, that's your, your got, you know, and, and uh, You know horizontal. rotating your view will do fuck all to a water level, right? I understand. Yeah, good. I understand. Okay. So, yeah, yeah I, well, I think we, we're, we're about ready for to start next year with... Uh, with the dark horse right uh, basic geometry it's, it's going to be fun are you going to demonstrate that ab is parallel to bc i'll show Not you how a water level works and it establishes a horizontal plane of reference yeah, yeah that's, that's your assertion I'm... that's your assertion are you going to demonstrate it oh uh, yeah how um by showing you how closely, um, like, surveying and practical tools uh, relate to geometry. Over what distance? 100 metres? Um, I'll do. Uh, since you gave us the numbers, and uh, what did you have? 3.1 mil uh, over uh, 200 no, metres? It, it was less than a mil over 100 metres. You said one mil. Somebody corrected you. Oh, sure. Yeah. Approximately a millimetre. Happy? Well, I mean, like you, you rounded it up to a millimetre. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, okay. But but over the 200 metres, uh, you add, what, uh, 3.1? Something like that. Right. Is your auto level going to be accurate enough to do that? Auto level? Like 200 metres. Auto level? Yeah, how are you going to test that your water level gives you a horizontal? Uh, geometry. Like I, I know Practical. you know this, Bev. 
water level. It's a practical tool. Yeah, and you're gonna take that assertion into your geometry and it will be meaningless. What if I could show you, you through you the geometry? Like, this is getting a bit comical. Yeah, yeah but you realize that you get your proofs through geometry, right? Oh, I realize geometry is incredibly useful, yes. Hmm. Yeah. So but you we have could to, use like said, geometry to, to show you correctly. that um, it's a straight line or a curve, right? You have to translate your real world problem into geometry correctly. Mm -hmm. If you fail to do that, your results are, you know, useless. Yeah, straight straight line or a curve line, right? So we have to have we start off with the basic understanding of a straight line, don't okay. we? Okay. And and well, then we we establish a tool to establish that straight line. Is it horizontal? Is it perpendicular to a vertical at one end? If it's a tool that yes, is said to I'll establish a horizontal you know plane of reference, <coughs> then we should we use that? <laughs> what if somebody says it isn't? Then they have to demonstrate it. Who? They, the person that says it isn't has to demonstrate it. Yeah, and I, I can demonstrate that water level curves. I can show you that water curves. But you can show me that a water level, the tool... I can show you that sea level curves. I don't have a mile long water no, level. No, no, we're talking about a, a water level. Yeah, right? Yeah. Which will effectively be the same as, as an ocean, right? You'll have the same behavior. You, you've got your mate Sly Sparkane. You helped fund his test. Is yeah. this what you're talking <laughs> about now? Is this, no, how, is this how you're... Curve. Is this how you... I don't think there are any, sorry, just I don't think there are any tides in the water level at all. No. Or, um, anything like that. Right, no, let's not yeah. go off. Let's not go off track oh. here, right? I'm just saying, like, the, you know, the test that you funded with Slice Barcane. Is this yes. how you are going to assert your claim that a water level doesn't establish a horizontal plane of reference? Because yeah, it's it's you, with an it's you that is making that claim, right? I'm yeah. just stating and facts, it's, it's known it's facts, it's that a water level is a tool for establishing a horizontal <coughs> plane of reference. It's you not. are the one it's saying, not. no, it isn't. So I think you should be the one to get Sly Sparkane to get his test to prove that there is a drop in the water level from horizontal. That's what his test will do. Yeah, good. Good. Excellent. <laughs> And he's going to sight down it with either a camera or an auto level. And you're going to go, you can't do that because it shows curvature. That's what's going to happen. No, no, no. It, 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 if that's how you intend or you think that you can disprove the fact that a water level establishes <laughs> a horizontal plane of reference, then oh, yeah, that'd be my, great. My proof, my proof for, for establishing that a water level does not give you horizontal is A, the ocean on a globe will curve. Uh, B, water levels That's a nice will assertion. have the same behavior as the ocean. And C, we know in reality That's that a the nice water water curves. You're all based on an assertion of a, a, a ball, Did right? Do I need to post that photo in the chat again with uh, 13 meters of missing boat? I don't know. You think that's going to prove that a water level does not establish a horizontal plane of reference? Yeah. Do, do water levels, would water levels follow the same... Uh, behavior is the ocean a, a water level is, is the ocean is a water level. horizontal plane of reference and it is not oh that's your assertion no it's not my assertion it's your assertion it's that your it, assertion it, you haven't it does it. not no i don't have to okay if, if you're going to use your assertion in your geometry then you have to make sure that your assertion is valid right okay so that you're you, you're saying how how should we assert it best? Like, is there any professionals that you would take? Uh, I don't know. Who who can we have? Like, because I'm sure it's a tool that establishes a horizontal I'm, plane of reference. I mean, I'm sure it's I, a tool I think it's pretty much stated everywhere. I don't think it says anything about how long a water level can be before. It stops being hard. In, in uh, fact, it says it's more accurate over distance. Hmm. How long is your water level, Bev? 
um, how long? How long is like you've got the longest the door, water really? level you've ever seen? Huh? How long is the one that you have in your? I don't know, what do you call your room? Your study. Study. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, my study. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds wicked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, one of them. One of them's 100 metres, and the other one is also 100 metres. And I've got one in the back that's also 100 metres. Bam! How much drop is there over ba Bam! Like, you, you're the drop man. You give us the numbers. Yeah, I'm doing it. Hold on. <laughs> you're doing it. The drop, it is, geometrically, it is uh, 0.78 millimetres. Oh, so that's do you the... think that's good enough for like a construction site? Pardon? Do you think an error of 0 0.78 millimetres is good enough for a construction site? I wouldn't like an error of that. What do you mean like that's a, is that a standard error? Right, because that is... That's the amount of drop over 100 metres. But Yeah, but so you're saying the standard drop of level... Over a hundred meters, are you? Or are you saying the the standard drop of a water? Are you separating a water <coughs> level from and an, a level? Are you saying they're if different you, tools? If you had a perfect auto level, you would a see a perfect difference one. Where do you get one of them from? What's a perfect auto? Well, level? Obviously, that's my point, Bev. Oh. Is that over a hundred meters, 0.78 millimeters, is nothing if you're building a bridge or a house or whatever. What? That is my point. It's accurate enough over small distances. Nah. Nah, if you you want level, you want level, right? You don't want 0. 0.78. Well, do you want like, the same, so you want the same that, level? So that 0. 0.78, right? Uh, can I just ask um, another clarification? That 0. 0.78, what is that uh, deviation of? Uh, the, you say level, but... From horizontal, <coughs> from horizontal oh. at the uh, Right, so you are... End. Yeah, but the you said the auto level is 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 level, right? Are you? Yeah. Right. So there's there's two different levels. There is there. One establishes a horizontal. That is the auto level. A water level does not establish a horizontal. It establishes the same uh, height of water or above sea level. An even altitude. Yes, that's a good phrase, you know, yes. Yeah, yeah. That, even well, altitude. You know, Merriam-Webster calls that even altitude, um, ooh, <coughs> horizontal condition. And I would say that it's wrong then. Oh, oh well, that you said curved. it was good. You liked it. Sure. Yeah. And again, we do you want to argue about definitions again? No, I mean, I've never argued oh, about definitions. I mean, they, they, they're meaningless to you. I mean, we Correct. all know that. We decide. Yeah. So there's we pointless arguing about, oh, you do. No, you and I decide what words mean. A dictionary does not. A dictionary does not dictate to people. We dictate to the dictionary. Wow. So it's popular opinion then? Basically, yeah. Brilliant. It's consensus on how words are used. Yeah, I like it. You guys are taking this massive argument from authority, and I thought that was, you know, not what Flat Earth is about, right? No, 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 we're not taking this massive argument from authority. This, well, this is logic, the, dude. The dictionary is we, authoritative. We just do logic here. And we, we use the dictionary to go, let's have a look what that word means. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, that seems to make sense. Now, can we clarify that and can we prove that? Because we know people dick around with words all the time, <coughs> especially the dictionary. I mean, they, they have your meaning all sorts of different yeah. things. Show, Brian, what are you showing? He's showing us a control for the drone. Oh, right. okay. drone. Cool. That's what you want. I told you I'd got one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's like the headset he's got. That's the phone one. Yeah, yeah. That plugs into your phone. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Very nice Christmas table, Brian. <laughs> Just ask Ruhi for a question. Yeah. Has he still got me muted? I don't know. I uh, have unmuted you for this uh, session. We'll see how you go. Oh, well done. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of you, Ruhi. I'm proud don't, of don't you. Don't spoil it. <laughs> so if 
if you if you don't adhere to definitions and definitions don't mean anything to you, how do you have conversations with people and how do they we know what you're agreed. talking about and how do you know what they're talking about? Yeah, we have to agree what words mean. The dictionary well, we have does books not tell you what words We have mean. books for this, Ruhiv. Yeah, this agreement not, has been laid down not and put into books. Do you, not, not, do you not appreciate that they these describe. books actually work and have definitions for words yeah, in them? I, I understand what a dictionary is. It no, does you not don't. Prescribe. No, I don't think no, you do. You, you don't Dictionaries understand what a dictionary is. Do not everybody, prescribe. They but everybody describe. agrees to the meanings in the dictionary no, not everybody apart agrees. from you. you Got a question for you. Do you agree that the word literal can now be used to mean figurative? It's in the, the dictionary. Word, why, why are you obfuscating? Why are you going off into the weeds? I'm trying to make a point. But dictionaries you don't, don't agree to the, the definitions in dictionaries. These I books are to. put together as an agreement for the definitions of words. Yeah, I don't have to. They're not prescriptive. They describe but, how people... So it's only you that isn't agreeing. It's only you that yeah, has the problem fine. with the definitions. Everybody else agrees with the definitions. That's fine. You can so use a word. So why the fuck should we care what you think? If, if we are trying to convey our ideas to each other, we have to agree why on how we use we words. Why should we care if you don't agree to the ascribed definitions in and the we, dictionaries? We can't have a conversation. We can't well, have a conversation unless we agree on what the words and how they're used. We agree, Ruhif. It's you that doesn't. Sure. Then let's find another word that we do agree on. No, because we have okay, a, an agreement of consensus. And it is written in a book. Oh, the book's authority, right? No, I didn't no, say that. Good. But we Very have a good. consensus of opinion. And you want yeah, to change the definition to suit your no, I just needs want us to and agree. wants. I just want us to agree on how to use a particular word. We have right? an agreement. You don't agree don't. with that agreement, Ruhif. It's not our problem. It's your I, problem. I have explained many times what I mean... What Don't give I a fuck mean. about your explanation. It's written in well, a book. Then what's the point of conversation? Well, yeah, and you're, you're giving authority to that interested. book. All right, back to mute. <laughs> CTP. You twat. You absolute fucking arsehole, Ruhi. <laughs> no, that was a nice twat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just got half the twat and then and then mute. So yeah. Yeah, chicken shit ball of yeah. piss, Ruhi. He, he can't hear you, DP. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. I know. Hold on. I think the time for talking has passed. We need to go and do this test and get yes. the results. Well, I'll, then... I'll do the presentation, Brian. I mean, it's pretty obvious that um, there is a, well, not only a definitional sort of thing, because Ruhif seems to be mad keen on his own definitions he's, he's that he own. won't i know he won't define his own definitions and he won't uh, go with the standard definitions dick. and just assumes that yeah. he's correct he's about an it. argument from authority who is no you're just obfuscating ruhif right the, the dictionary as authoritative is, it is no authoritative. we are authoritative. we yes and, but we're talking about the definitions of words like level horizontal, straight, perpendicular, parallel, right? That's what we're talking yeah, about. Generally, they're all, generally we'll agree on They're those. all Some geometric will. terms. They're, they're not sort of, I don't decide to go with the meanings of that shit because I'm a sp super special person. You don't do that. Same, same question to you. The word literal is oh. now in the dictionary oh, to mean gosh. figurative. Do you agree with that definition? I don't give a shit. Don't they're they're not to trying to <laughs> redefine level. Or they aren't yet. You word, are. It word. seems like you are leading the cause for redefining the word level to mean curved, Ruhif. And so I, curved, I yes. don't understand why you're trying to do that. Level is observably and practically horizontal doesn't have a curve it doesn't drop 
eight inches over a mile. And it just tested. doesn't. It just literally Retest. doesn't. But you see that what you imagine, you imagine that drop of eight inches being the same elevation, don't you? Yes. Yes. The same elevation yes. from <laughs> what? The same elevation from what? Sea level. Right, but sea level is not... Is, is that a different level? Because you said level is horizontal. Yeah. So that would literally oh, yes, mean sea horizontal. Right, when you represent... No. Yeah, yeah, level. <laughs> level no, is done. horizontal, right? Seriously, so you just change the word level for horizontal. Practically, that's how it is. It's used practically, horizontal. I, I opened a can of Sprite five hours ago it's still sitting on my table is my sprite flat Fuck yes off, or no Rudy, you <laughs> you're a fucking yeah. idiot no, i know you won't answer Bev. we've been through this a dozen times no i'm answering you Ruhiv, but and, you're too uh, much yeah. of a dick demonstrate how you're gonna have me oh, off yeah. mute. demonstrate that a to b is parallel to b to c he's, he's got you muted mate <laughs> yeah i know he has yeah, i can i i can do that, Ruhif. Okay. Yes, uh, geometrically. But people that don't believe that straight lines are straight don't understand geometry and the principles it gives us, fundamentals it gives us. Okay, let's get some figures out of him. Ruhif, quarter of a mile, 402 metres. How much drop should we witness? 402 metres. Hang on. 0.402. Uh, geometric drop, uh, is that 12 millimetres? Yeah, 12.7 millimetres. 12.7 millimetres. Can we measure that, Bev, over a quarter of a mile? Um, over a quarter of a mile, we'd need two of us with 400 metres to measure it as a sagittar, as a difference between two of us. So it'd need two people with the 400 metre water level yeah, test. There. But I mean, but it, it we can, could, it we can be measured though. Yeah, yeah, yeah we we could we could measure, Bry, at the two hundred meter the one level, of three point one millimeters because the water level is that accurate, right? So three point one millimeters will be able to be measured over two hundred, which would mean all all you'd need is four hundred meters. So, so thanks, Rohit, for giving us for giving us the numbers. Two hundred meters. How? <laughs> How much tube we got? I've got two, 300 metres, but I mean, I, I need another 200 for this one. But I mean, we'll do, I'll do this 200 metre test. I mean, beginning of the year. Hey, Ruhiv. Did, I'll put it into the uh, presentation. Give me, give me the link for the tube. Let's get another couple hundred metres of tube. And we're just going to go and prove this one fucking way or the other. <laughs> yeah, you, you're not going to be able to do it over like 100 or 200 metres. Your accuracy of your order level is going to... Yeah, not be accurate enough. Or, no, what no, auto no, level are you talking about, dickhead? 200 metres. You well, how are you mean. demonstrating that AB is parallel to BC? Geometry, water level. Yeah, in, yeah in practical reality, tools. But you only do it in reality. Yeah, yeah, we do do it in reality, you dickhead. Okay, right. Can, show we, me can reality, we get him to how define AB is parallel, parallel to BC? Two. Because he's saying how is A B parallel to B C? Yeah, you'd, you'd say in parallel to. Can you how you how do you define parallel to? We, we, <laughs> You're asking me parallel. Yeah, yeah, now? because you have to agree on your definitions, right? How do you define parallel to? That'll do. Go on. I'm, I night. know. I know what That'll my do. parallel yeah. is, but I'm no. asking what Good he yeah, yeah. is defining his parallel as. Yeah, deep. DP's asking, please define parallel. I mean, you, we, we need to know because it has to be agreed upon by you. So, oh, in he's order. Run away, Bev. Pardon? He's run away. Oh, has he? Yeah. For fuck's sake. He's a little funny, him. Dear, oh dear. I hope. Was that recorded? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Ruhiv, every time he comes here, he <laughs> digs it. Like water from horizontal. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Water from can horizontal. flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Oh, I guarantee if you do this test properly and you sight down them, you'll see a drop. Absolutely. 
be water, my friend. The water level will drop. Now you put water into a yes. cup. It becomes a the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes From the bottle. bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now what yeah, that's what just because lambs are set. Yeah. yeah. Water, my friend. Water. From horizontal. From horizontal. Like water. Now you put water into a cup. From horizontal. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. The water level will drop, you yes. think. From horizontal. Right, yeah. That's what Jesse Kozlowski said. Yeah. Yeah. He's right. 